Starting out PS2, comfort pick as well. And that's a strong up tilt. Big get off me tool there uh, from Eli to whip off all the picks, and I get a nice uh, start to the match in his favor, drawing first blood. Percents uh, seem to be a little close, however, Swigzy slowly bringing it into his favor with a 40% uh, lead on Eli. However, that dash attack is going to give him the stage control that he might need, and the Pikmin are going to beat out Nikita and send Eli back, but a swift tech into that up tilt in center stage is going to close out Swigzy's first stock. Now Swigzy's resorting to his game plan, which I don't blame him for. Of, of, throw Pikmin and followed up with these chunky hits. He's got a purple, red, and blue in his pocket now. Blue up, uh, a blue up throw could do him justice here. Close out Eli's stock. Ooh, barely missing that purple up smash though. That would have been huge in his favor. And Eli is going uncontested right now. Living at such a high percent and getting so much off of this, uh, off of this stock when he should be dead. Just as I say that, Swigzy finding a back here with red Pikmin, closing out Eli's first stock. However, that grenade is unfortunately going to save Swigzy in that scenario where Eli kind of missed some of his setup there, too. Could have led to the stock if um, Eli had played himself uh, right. But catching that neutral getup in the in the uh, hailstorm of grenades and up smash with a down smash there. Both players trading projectiles now. Going to a little bit of a slower pace. However, Swigzy making a nice burst option with that up smash and forward air now, too. Can't really contest Eli in the air as he's going to drop grenades down air and even uh, other moves among the sword to protect himself. Choosing to up smash the grenade, not really what he wanted there instead. And then going for ledge, forcing the guessing game. Cypher again, best friend going to save himself and let him fly all the way to the other, th other side of the stage in a big arc. Attack. And again, Eli is sitting at an absurdly high percent. 150 again, just utilizing and staying so aware. Consistent down tilts and grenade coverage are keeping him safe as Swixie can finally find his way back into center stage. And again, that's the second time that we've seen Eli mess up his uh, his roll read with the up tilt, for, uh, up tilting the other way instead of catching the read on the inside. Dash attack on shield's gonna get punished by that yellow Pikmin up smash. Swigzy at 140 now almost. He's really gotta find a way to keep himself safe. However, neutral tech, uh, excuse me, neutral get up will be beaten out by that up smash that Eli had set out earlier. I feel like Eli had played that, played that game so well um, where he had ledge trapped uh, Swigzy at such a higher degree where the point of Pikmin in these kind of scramble scenarios almost didn't really matter much and I'd like to see how Swigzy would maybe be able to adapt and come back from that too see if he can find his way on uh, off ledge and onto stage just that tad bit faster and maybe even challenge Eli while he's uh well he's coming down from Cypher whether that be when he's recovering high above stage or he's jumping off of ledge like he had done before to give himself a loop around to the other side of stage even and let himself set up shop. How, ooh, unfortunately missing the second part of that forward tilt. I don't really know why that might have happened. There it is, full forward tilt. And Swigzy is almost triple Eli's percent. Make that double now. Dash attack for stage control. And now Eli's gonna try and catch him out there, lacking with Nikita, chasing him all the way to center stage. A nice forward tilt from right uh, from under the right platform is going to close out stock one in Swigzy's favor. Uh, stock one in Eli's favor. And he's sitting at a much lower percent gap than he was in game one. Um, however, Swigzy slowly climbing back with a nice string, closing it out finally with a back air uh, from that purple Pikmin. And now he's got a chance of taking out Eli's first stock with his entourage of Pikmin. I believe he has planted C4 on Swigzy, but I don't know what happened where he didn't take any damage or knockback. Challenging that down tilt there with that back air just a little bit faster than Eli's option. 
Now C4 is resting on that right platform. No more beeping light. However, just a little bit too uh, too different in color contrast. So it's much easier to see on this stage than it is like something of uh, Smashville or Town and City. And a nair dodge to go through that up tilt there for Swigzy. Forward tilt again, one of Snake's best grounded options. Very strong chunking. It gives him nice time to set up a lot of his grenades and, uh, and uh, missile plays. Up tilt to get off Pikmin and get Swigzy off. However, a strong red Pikmin forward smash is going to go ahead and close out stock one on Eli with Swigzy at a 122 deficit right now. Strong string, though, putting him at 60 now almost with all these Pikmin on top of him. Wigsy untouched for the most part after Eli's second stock has come into business. And he's catching that air, do uh, the air dodge after coming off a Cypher. That strong uh, red Pikmin up smash. However, that back air center stage is going to close out Swigzy's stock. And again, Eli is in the extra credit zone. Let's see if he can make the most of it, which he can. Currently putting Swigzy at 50% almost. Swigzy holding on his grenade. Coming off that platform after the sleep. Pushed off just a little too early. And there it is. Swigzy finally challenging Eli in the Cypher state with that float up up air. Now he's at a 90% deficit, which he can clearly climb back from if he plays his cards right with all these Pikmin. Here it is, Eli chasing down Swigzy with these uh, with with these Nikita missiles, casting him with the splash damage down on the ledge a little late. Forward tilt, watching the roll in, and that burst option of a dash attack is going to close out Swigzy's final stock and the set in Eliakim's favor.